anschweißen und jetzt äh, das ist nicht das funktioniert genau. dann aber. Instructions from the boss. Bettina Kretschmer telling her welders what she wants them to do with this used construction dumpster. Kretschmer knows her way around steel containers and metal construction and how to get her way in an industry dominated by men. Almost all of her employees are men and she's usually the only woman in the room. But that's not a problem for her. She understands that hers is an environment where people don't mince their words. Men tend to be more direct when they speak. You can answer the same way and the problem solved. With women, the discussion goes on three or four days. But we don't have that problem here at all. It wasn't easy for Kretschmer to get this far. She had to fight to earn the respect of her male employees. What's she like to work for? Well, we get paid on time, and she makes sure we have enough work. There's pretty good communication. Considering that she's a woman, she does her job pretty well. Kretschmer has been with the company for 25 years. The 55-year-old has a degree in business administration. In 2004, she felt she was ready to take over the company, but it wasn't easy. From the start, I had three strikes against me. I was a woman, I was from East Germany, and I wanted to work in the steel industry, which is almost all male. I don't think there were very many women in charge. And I didn't have any collateral. So I had to figure out how to present my concept and persuade creditors to trust me with the several hundred thousand euros I needed to get started. At first, banks turned her down. But her experience and persistence finally helped her get the loan she needed. Today, she employs 25 people. She also shares her experience with other women. Here, she's in Berlin at an event hosted by Europe's biggest center for women entrepreneurs and business founders. The center brings successful businesswomen like Kretschmer together with other women who are setting up their own companies. Like this woman, one of a handful in Germany who owns and operates a driving school. About 60 women have established companies, and about 70% of them will survive. That's an unusually high rate of success. Women can make their professional dreams come true. Their children are taken care of and they can seek additional training, trade information. It's all very simple, uncomplicated and self-assured. And I think that's what the women here want. Back in the office, Kretschmer's daughter participates in the company's weekly planning sessions. The 31-year-old is being groomed to take over the company someday. I studied to become an advertising executive. So my background is actually something quite different. It was a bit daunting to get into this production-oriented business. But in my first year, I've seen that you can always grow with the job. Containers like this one fetch about 4,000 euros for Bettina Kretschmer. Prices are competitive, and mother and daughter know they're not going to get rich. But the company's revenues have been climbing steadily. Last year, they hit the 3 million euro threshold, and this year, they're building a new production building. The Kretschmers feel confident they'll do just fine in the steel industry.